What did your father die of? Heart attack. I'm sorry. It's not so bad. I have my auntie to take care of me. What's she like, your auntie? She's nice. Very kind. It's good. Her great. It's over there. We should have brought some flowers. She didn't like flowers. I wish he could meet you. I'm sure he would like you too. Until he finds out I'm sleeping with his son. He would understand. He never gets angry with me. He never scold me. He actually never gets angry with anybody. A real Confucian gentleman. Well, he kept everything inside. Maybe that's why he had a heart attack. I remember I was as good a day it happened. My auntie came to fetch me. And we all rushed up to the hospital in the taxi. And when we came to the hospital, it was too late. It must have been dreadful for you. And then that night I slept at my auntie's house. When I woke up the next morning, I didn't know where I was. It's just like waking up to a different world. I had the same feeling the day I woke up in the place. What do you mean? You need that? A little bit of flour on the board. That's great. It's not difficult making bread, you know. It tastes so much better than anything you can buy in the shops. Okay, can I try? Yeah, sure. Now, use the heel of your hand. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not bad for a beginner. Yeah? That's right. Really push into it. Like this? That's it. That's great. How about a shape? Don't worry about the shape at the moment. That's great. Here, try with some camembert while it's still warm. So, what's the verdict? It's good. Very good. I'm sorry it's not much of a meal. I haven't done much cooking lately. Why? You're such a good cook. Well, you know, I eat on my own and... Cooking for oneself is a little bit like dancing alone. There's not much point to it, is there? I'll cook you a Chinese meal next time. Mm. Be good. Steamed fish. Why you? Fried beef with green onions. Do you do the cooking at home? No. Mandy does most of the time. My father taught me how to cook. Mm -hmm. Make dinner for us every day. Mm. And I help in the kitchen. But at that time, I didn't like it because it was dirty and messy. Your father sounds like a really nice man. Yeah. Who's this? It's Mario, somebody I used to know. Very good looking. Yes, he was. Half Italian from Liverpool. I was 16, working in a summer job in a local restaurant. I was a waiter, he worked in the kitchen. They just say a play. <laughs> Something like that. You know, it's amazing the amount of unnecessary hair one develops in unexpected places. The older I get, the more I find the mirror distressing. So what happened to Mario then? I don't know. I never saw him again after that summer. Thank you. You know, when I first came out to Hong Kong, I never dreamed I'd stay this long. 
Do you miss England? Not anymore. Not really. You think you'll go back? I certainly don't want to stay in Hong Kong the rest of my life. When you do, I want to go with you. What would you do there? I can study. I can take English literature and master degree. And I will go to the British Museum and study all the manuscripts. And you can concentrate on your writing. Would you like that? Mark, there's something I want to talk to you about. I've not been writing much of late. In fact, I haven't written a word in two years. There have been no rewrites, no new ideas. I'm stuck. The play's a piece of shit anyway. It's not true. It is. Meeting you's made me realize it. It's... it's fetid. Everything about it is dead. You know, I've always hated the term Guaylo, but I think in my case it fits. I am more like a ghost out here. As I lay dying, my life didn't flash before my eyes. Instead, I see my stupid play. Appropriately enough, it was the ending scene, the parting. What's the matter, Kevin? This. I'm fucking tired of this. Tired of what? Everyone knows. Why haven't you noticed yet? Who knows what? The boss, Gracie. They're all talking about us at the restaurant, that's what. And your mom. Do you see that dirty look she gave me just now? I always thought you liked being the center of attention. Fuck you, all right? 
I'm not going to bleed in Cambridge next year. I'm staying right here probably for the rest of my 